If you have watched my other video, you already learned how to turn on a MacBook Pro 13-inch model from 2013 that has a non-functional power button. You just have to disconnect the internal battery and use the power cord connector as your on and off switch. So, now what happens if the whole keyboard doesn't work, including the power button? And that happens sometimes when people spill drinks on it, whatever the cause might be. So now I'm going to show you it's a very simple solution if the keyboard doesn't work and you need to do troubleshooting. Because sometimes it's not enough that you turn on the machine because if you can't hold on, for example, the uh, command and R or command option PR to do the uh, NVRAM reset or to get into the recovery mode, then it does you no good even if you can turn on the machine. So the simple solution is add an external keyboard. So here I have an external keyboard plugged into the USB port and I'm going to turn on the machine by plugging the power cord connector. And now I'm going to get into the recovery mode. One of them is by pressing Command and R that will get you into the local recovery mode. If you want to start the recovery mode from the internet, then you need to press Command Option R, and that will allow you to download a um, copy of the Mac OS directly from Apple. So here you can see the computer started up, and I'm still, still holding on. The command, which is the window key on the Windows keyboard, it corresponds to the command key on the Apple keyboard. Command R, and you can see the Apple logo showed up, and it's loading and this will get me into the local recovery mode. So I can already see the cursor on the upper left corner. Okay, now I release it, and you can see here, I'm into the OS 10 utilities dialog here. You have four options, restore from Time Machine Backup, reinstall OS 10, get on help online and disk utilities. So for example here, if I need to reinstall OS 10, I can choose this. And sometimes it will work and sometimes it won't. Then you have to be a little bit careful with your expectation because if it doesn't work, then you will need to press Control Option and R to get into the uh, internet recovery mode. So here we're in the local recovery mode. Let's see if this will allow me to install OS 10. And it will ask you to download and restore OS 10. Your computer's eligibility will be verified with Apple. Let's see if that goes through. Okay, so then you can continue from here. But the point is, if you need to troubleshoot a computer with a keyboard that doesn't work. In this case, you can add an external keyboard and press the same key to get into the recovery mode or whatever that you need to do to diagnose and reinstall the operating system on the MacBook Pro.